Hi, I'm Eric Lenask with TMC. We're here with our TMC Roadshow in San Jose, California this week, and I'm excited to have on our program Debbie Jo Severin from 8x8. Debbie Jo, great to see you as always. Good to see you as well. So, great time for us to be talking. Uh, you guys had a pretty exciting announcement yesterday about your results. Yeah. Give me some of the highlights. Well, we posted our earnings yesterday for our first quarter fiscal year 2013. Our revenues were $25.3 million. So that puts us on a run rate of $100 million. So that's a great milestone for us, and that's a record. When you look at the revenues, that was a 36% increase from last year at this time. So that sounds pretty good. But if you dig a little bit further underneath that, it was actually 46% growth in our business revenues because we still have some legacy Packet 8 residential customers in the revenue. So 46% growth is you know, pretty significant, and we're really excited about that. The other thing, we also posted our lowest churn at 1.7%. So, and that's significantly lower. I think we were at 2% last quarter and 2.1% uh, a year ago. So what we're seeing is our focus on customer service and, and really serving the customer is really paying off for us in that. So in the end, we've been, for the, really almost for the past three years, been adding about 1,000 net customers over a quarter, but we were able to add over 1,200 12, this last quarter. So company seems to be doing well, and we're really excited about it. Well, that's certainly impressive. Yeah. Uh, what's allowed you to uh, sustain that kind of growth quarter after quarter after quarter? You know, I, we've always stood tall around the fact that we own and operate our own technology and it's homegrown and it's ours and therefore we can develop services that are specifically de um, defined for our customer and our target market. So we also have been primarily in the small business space, but we see Hosted being more and more adopted in the mid-market. We've announced some big customers this last, cu uh, this last quarter. So, you know, being able to develop the services and not be a, a franchise platform, if you will, really helps us in the product development side. So uh, going back a week or two, maybe uh, speaking of fantastic announcements, yeah. uh, another announcement uh, regarding Frost and Sullivan report. Um, yeah, so, so um, Frost and Sullivan put out a report there to, uh, around uh, 2011, IP telephony and unified communications, and we were, uh, I think the quote was the clear leader, the market leader, with 7.9% market share in a market that's still growing. And so, you know, we, we always kind of felt that we were one of the largest, or if not the largest, but it was so great to have, you know, a really market, uh, a market analyst and in, uh, respected industry analyst put us at number one. What was the metric that they used uh, for, for uh, determining? So in their case, it was line. So we have over 200,000 seats, if you will, that's used commonly in the industry. And so um, that was the measure that they used for market share. If you look at revenue, I think you would even see us in a different position because of the fact that um, some of the players in the hosted space sometimes serve the real Soho market, where ours has been more SMB. And so I think in revenue, but they did not, they did not note it for revenue. The, certainly, the growth is fantastic, but it's, uh, you've got to keep adapting uh, to the market changes. How do you see some of the market changing, and how are you reacting to the market? Well, going back to owning and operating our own technology, you know, one of the things that we've tried to do over the last couple of years, and I've shared with you in some of these videos around our deployments and in, in product development in the unified communication space, but what we'd really like people to start thinking about is what we're calling empowering a conversation, right? Because, you know, I've got my telephone, I've got my PC, which may be a soft phone. I've got my uh, wireless device or my cell phone. And so it really is about trying to integrate all those things so that um, if I'm on the PC and I'm chatting with someone out of my corporate directory and I want to launch myself into a meeting, I don't have to think about, I'm going to start another application to start a meeting. If it's fully integrated with the host of PBX, I can just come out of the chat, start my meeting, do online you know, uh, content sharing. I may add somebody else or chat with somebody else in the company because I have presence information there. Um, or call them on their cell phone, which I don't even have to have their cell phone number. I just have their office extension because they have the, the mobile app. I think we see you know, that integration of all those um, devices 
and the applications that you might be using them is really about just having good conversations and uh, rich conversations. It's not about just communicating. Do you have any sense of how much people are using some of these uh, different features and capabilities to enrich those communications? We, we do. We actually keep pretty good data on uh, when people are accessing particular features within our, um, our portal that we use. So we do know that 20% of our customers actually subscribe to the add-on you see features like our meeting service, our internet fax and recording. We also know that each of those customers are buying at least two seats of that um, suite that's on top. But many of our customers, we've been able to see like 40% of them access the service, the online portal, even within the first month. And we really do encourage that. You come up on the PBX, there's lots of communications. Log in now, get access to it. We didn't do that so well in the past, but um, in the last year, when we first launched it, we, were, we launched it and thought the world would come. And then now we say, hey, part of the onboarding, that customer service is really important to bring them so that the service is even stickier for them. Well, Debbie Jo, uh, again, congratulations well, on, the, on the great you. results. And yeah. uh, as always, it's been great having you on the program. Thank you.